You know, ordinarily I uh, I enjoy the projects I do, but uh, I got to tell you, this one today, it was a real drag. Get it? A drag? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I got nothing clever to say. <laughs> anyway, if you've been watching me at all, uh, you'll know that I've been trying to get into uh, metal casting as well as everything else I'm trying to get into. And, uh, and I really have enjoyed it. It hasn't worked out great yet, but we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Anyway, I've made a flask um, just because I was in a hurry and I had to have something and I wanted to do some casting and whatever. So I had this, this, this scrap lumber laying around and I just kind of cut it up and nailed it together. That's all it is. It's just two nails in each of these joints. And this stuff I think is probably, I don't know what it is. I was going to tell you it was cedar, but it's probably not cedar. Um, it's red, but it's not anyway. And here's the problem with it. Um, first of all, when I made it, I didn't think I needed the key on the side. And I thought to myself, you don't need that. I'm just doing flat stuff on the back. It doesn't matter if it's here or, you know, how it is. Well, the reality is you kind of need them. <laughs> I found that out. Um, not, it wasn't, as for what I've been playing around with, it hasn't been ultra critical, but I could see where you could really need it. But here's the biggest problem I've got with this stuff um, is I'm getting splinters this kind of stuff because it's just really this is really splintery wood I'm not sure why but it is uh, I'm getting a lot of splinters so I want to make something I want to make some a metal one and uh, I went out and got some some angle iron this morning so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get started on that I'll show you yeah look I'll show you and there's a better view of the of the wood, you can see it's just, I mean, it wants to splinter just by looking at it. Now I'm using this to ram, and if I touch the corners, if I even hit, even think about getting close to the corner, it just wants to splinter. And I, and I paid too much money for this Petrobond to get splinters all in it. Anyway, this size has worked out really well, and we're just, we're like 10 and an, almost 10 and 3 eighths inside uh, that dimension, and six and three quarter ish that way. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make cut my angle iron. I'm going to do seven inches on the inside and I'm going to do um, at least 10, maybe 11. If I can go 11, if I got enough material to go 11, I'll go ahead, I'll go an 11 inch length. And the angle is two inch. And I think this stuff is only inch and this turned out to be an inch and three quarter wide. So I'll be a little bit, I'll be about a quarter inch thicker as well, which will be okay. I've got plenty of Petrobond for that. So um, let me get the uh, angle marked up and we'll get, get started cutting it up. Okay, I've got everything marked up and let's go ahead and get it cut. We got us four at 14, and 15, and four at seven. I need to get them all roughly the same length now. Uh, not the most precise tool, <laughs> at least in my hands. Okay, I finished getting all the, um, the mill scale off of the surfaces that I'm going to weld to. If you don't know why, try welding against this stuff here. It don't work too good. This will, <laughs> this will weld so much cleaner. Anyway, this will go in here. Well, how will this go? I don't know how this goes, but basically 
we're going to be welding these two surfaces together somehow. Maybe like that. That's exactly how it goes. <laughs> going to weld along here, weld on the inside. It's all about the prep. All about the prep. I had a guy that was a, a welding instructor tell me that this is a great trick. He uses square two. Um, hold this stuff in a, squ in a square um, square angle or 90 degree angle. So that's what I've done. I've just got this piece of square tube, clamped it up, and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and start welding. Hey Peter, PPE. Hope you're happy, man. <laughs> And I've got them both welded up now, and uh, both has the uh, the cope and the drag. Again, don't ask me which one's which, but they just sit on here. They'll just sit together like this. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to mark a hole on these two end pieces. And somewhere, yeah, right over here. Somewhere I've got. I've got some bolts that I've cut off. I think we'll use these two guys right here. And I'm just going to, I'm going to drill through here. I'll drop the bolt down through it and then I'll weld the top of the bolt to the top piece so that when they come apart, the bolt will always stay with it. Uh, and then I'll have a key in here that won't, I won't get, it won't get lost and uh, it'll hopefully keep these things lined up. Uh, every time I want to go ahead and ramp things up, I'll be able to get them in the same exact orientation. So that's kind of the next plan is we'll get these drilled out and uh, get those bolts welded in. All right, I've got uh, a hole with a center punch uh, here. I'm going to go ahead and drill this one. I'll drill this hole. I think I'm going to drill the whole thing out while I've got it clamped uh, just to make sure everything stays kind of where I want it. Feels pretty good. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Do the other side. All right, last piece. I got them all drilled out. I got the holes cleaned up so I can weld to them. Just drop the bolts in. Just like that. I'll put a weld on either side of that bolt. And why was a flask? Woohoo! Hot off the press, it is still smoking. <laughs> Hopefully, comes apart. But there you have it. There's my uh, there's my cast, my flask that won't come apart. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's going to be a lot better than this uh, stuff falling apart. And because, because. I am a slave to the views. You're going to have to come back and watch a later video to see how it works out. You have a great day. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and click the thumbs up button down below. It really does help. If you'd like to be notified when we publish new content, go ahead and click my channel icon to subscribe. And finally, while you're here, take some time to check out some of our other videos. Have a great day and get out there and do something new today.